everyone, Alex here. Just enough time to give you a quick market update on what's happening around Portland. It's September 22nd, first day of fall, and let's see what's happening around our city. Where are the housing price is at? Is it a good time to sell? Is it a good time to buy? We're going to find out right now. Just got the numbers in. We're going to be looking at four areas of town and play a little bit of a uh, numbers game, kind of like the price is right. Today we're dealing with Northeast Portland, all up here, Southeast Portland, right down here, the Gresham Troutdale area, all out here, and then further down south, Milwaukee Clackamas area. Here I've got the average sales price numbers, all in the thousands, and then we'll, a little bit we'll talk about the percent change. But first of all, let's start with average sales price. 312,000, 369,000, 385,000, 426,000. Let's start with the high one. First of all, of these four areas, which one do you think is pulling the highest numbers? Plan at home, answers in. Bam. It's Northeast Portland, got the highest average home sales prices up in that area. Who's next in line at the 385? Who's pulling 385? How many of you guessed Milwaukee and Clackamas area? It's actually down there. Milwaukee has really been heating up. And then, coming a little bit further down, 369. I think we can do process of elimination on this. That is our southeast. And then 312 out in Gresham. And Troutdale, hey, average price of houses out in Gresham and Troutdale above 300. So what this lets you know is if you are a homeowner and you are, it's been a while since you check out how much is my home worth, you might be really surprised. If you're wondering how much your home is worth and that's something you're just thinking about, maybe not ready to sell yet, but you're just wondering, give an agent a call. Give myself a call and I will figure that out for you. I'll let you know, and that's free of charge, no obligation. Now let's move on, find out what are these numbers right here. What is the percent change in these sales prices in these areas over the last 12 months compared to the 12 months before that? So where the big change has been, what is really heating up? Let's start on the low end. Which one has really changed the least in the last little bit? Guesses, guesses. It is Southeast Portland, right there. I believe a lot of this comes from its heat was really seen last year and now we're starting to see a little bit of a cool down. You know, about six months ago, this number was 14% in Southeast Portland and now starting to cool off a little bit. So I think those houses in that area have kind of started to hit their peak and they're just starting to plateau. Not yet, but coming close. What about our 11%, our next one? That's out in Gresham Troutdale. Still doing good, still moving up, up. Who is our 12.8%? That is up in the Northeast. And can you believe that? Sitting at 426,000, it's a strong average sales price up in the Northeast and it is continuing to grow. There are in-demand areas up here and out here in the Northeast. So 12.8%, still huge growth there. Sellers in that area should be excited about that. And finally, that leaves our biggest growth down in Milwaukee Clackamas. That Milwaukee town center, that light rail transit down there has really helped that area. And if you haven't considered looking in Milwaukee Clackamas, if you're a buyer, you certainly are missing out. There is definitely things to be seen down there and deals still to be had. It's a great area. Hey, there are great areas all across this awesome city, Portland. So final note, this is great for the sellers, but what about the buyers? It's still a great time for you as well. Interest rates are still historically low. Talking to a lender yesterday, I'm hearing numbers where the FHA on a 30-year loan is 3.25% and a conventional loan 3.625% on that 30-year loan. FHA 3.25, conventional 3.625. Those are kind of the same numbers that I've been quoting or uh, getting quoted to me all summer long, and they haven't changed, which has been really great for buyers. But that is not going to stay the same forever. There is going to come a point, and it may be later this year, it may be early next year, where those numbers go up. That is an unknown, and if you're a buyer thinking about getting that mortgage, even a single half percent could make a huge difference in the amount you actually end up paying for that house. 
So now is the time to get in when interest rates are low. Final note to sellers, if you are thinking of selling, think about this. There's a big difference between listing right now at this time of the year and listing in December. If you wait and until December and you put your house on the market, all of a sudden you've got way fewer buyers out there. Nobody is shopping for a home around the holidays or at the first of the year. People are burnt out from spending on gifts and travel. They're not going to be looking. You're going to have far less interest in your home. So now, here in the next month, is a perfect time to list. Fall has a little bit of a premium to it, and if you don't get your house on the market at this time, really you're waiting around probably till the end of February when it's a strongly advised time to once again sell. So for both buyers and sellers, the message today is sooner rather than later. For more tips like this, stay tuned to my Facebook page or at any time, give me a call. Alex Roy, working hard for your success.